This video is more of a public service announcement for those of you who are using any of my automations with the Intelligent Octopus Go tariff, because there's been a big change in the way that the latest version of the Octopus Energy integration from Bottlecap Dave behaves. As of version 17, if we scroll down to the breaking changes section, you'll notice that there's a lot of talk about the off-peak entity and a link to a discussion on how the behavior for that sensor is changing. With the older version, I advised you to use a sensor called Intelligent Dispatching, and that was mainly because the off-peak sensor wouldn't turn on during the ad hoc periods. It would only turn on during your set overnight off-peak hours. But the Intelligent Dispatching sensor now only turns on during the ad hoc periods and not during your normal fixed overnight hours, which means it is no longer of any use to us for the automations I've put together. Don't worry though, it's an easy fix and I'll walk you through it. All we have to do is update our automations to use the off-peak sensor instead of Intelligent Dispatching. The first thing to find is that new off-peak sensor. So if we go down to Settings, to Devices and Services, we need to find our Octopus Energy integration. Now you might have the same number of devices here as me, or you might have more or less. I've got one for my charger, I've got an export meter, there's some Octoplus stuff, but what we're really after is this one here, your main electricity meter, that's your import electricity meter, so click on that. And in this list of sensors here, you need to find the one that says off-peak electricity. So you can see mine is just here, so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on the little cog icon there and this entity ID here is what we want and if we click on this little button it will copy it to the clipboard. Now you can paste that into notepad or uh, another text editor, just keep it safe for now because you're going to need it later. Now there are two different automations of mine that use the intelligent dispatching sensor. There's the one that switches your energy dashboard between on and off peak rates and there's the one that charges your give energy batteries whenever you have off peak energy rates to stop your car from discharging your batteries and I'm going to cover both of those. Let's start with the Intelligent Octopus Go battery charging automation. Now this might have been created from a blueprint if you followed my instructions so it's very easy to change. So if you go down to settings automations then you'll need to scroll down and find your actual automation. I've got a lot in here. This is my live system. It's not my test system because I haven't had a chance to set up a test instance for this. Uh, but I need to find this one here, which is my Intelligent Octopus Go Give Energy Inverter Control. I've got a simplified version, which is up on my GitHub page, but uh, it, it's the same whether you've got the full version or the simplified one. And you can see here, this first one says Octopus Intelligent Slot Active. I've updated this on GitHub. So if you were to update it, it actually says Octopus uh, off-peak energy sensor now. Um, but if you've got the old version of the uh, automation, then it will say this. All we have to do is change this to off-peak. And you can see I've got two that's shown up. We've got one for export, but we've got this one here, which is the import one. It doesn't say import, but that is the one you want to select. So click on that, click on save, and when it saves, you are done. So we're back here at the start now to look at the energy dashboard automation. And we do that by going down to settings, automations, and then looking in your list of automations for your automation that will switch you between peak and off peak tariffs. Now I've called mine energy peak and off peak tariffs IOG. You might of course have called yours something totally different, but whatever it's called, you need to open that up and you have to do this next bit in YAML mode, unfortunately, not the GUI. So you click on these three dots in the top right hand corner, go down to edit in YAML, and you'll see these two entity ID sections here that end with intelligent dispatching. Now, both of these need to be replaced with the new off-peak sensor that you hopefully have already got copied to the clipboard. Now, be very careful when you paste these in to make sure you don't change any of the spacing because YAML is very sensitive to all of the spacing that's going on in this file. So keep the spacing the same, change your intelligent dispatching sensors to off-peak sensors, 
and save. And that really is it. You have now updated your automations to work with the new off-peak sensors. Anyway, I hope that this has been a useful little video for you. I've got to make sure that my articles are all updated with these new instructions. There's nothing I can do about the old videos unless I re-record them, which is a lot of effort. So I'll just pin this video as a comment on them for now. Please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye.